Hey besties, how's it going? I hope you guys are having an amazing week. So I was talking to one of my girlfriends the other day and we were discussing how nowadays, especially with social media and all of these outside influences that we have, we as people have become used to like accepting less. And I just feel like that is not what I want for myself. That's for damn sure not what I want for my friends and family and definitely not what I want for any of you. So I figured why not come on here and film and get ready with me. And I'm going to go over six reasons why I feel like you deserve better. I mean better relationships. I mean better financial situations, better housing situations, better everything, better spiritual situations better everything. You all deserve so much better. We as a people deserve so much better. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. And if this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Brianna. This is Brianna's Best Life, where we talk about self-improvement, motivation, and inspiration. So if you're into those things, definitely hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. This is not a makeup tutorial. I'm simply trying to do my makeup and talk to you guys. So judge me or not, but I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to prime my face first just because I'm going to be out all day and I need my makeup to stick and I expect my makeup to be bomb so I can take a lot of pictures. It's funny that I'm having this discussion with you guys while I'm wearing my makeup because I hear a lot of the times when you're doing your makeup or you just want to look decent, people always ask you, what are you trying to look cute for? Do you, like, am I the only one who gets that? I'm not trying to look cute for anybody. I just want to look genuinely good for myself. You don't have to have somebody to look good for. You don't have to have somebody to do better for. You can legit want better and do better for yourself. You are the main character to your own story. Everybody has their own special thing, their own quirky thing that makes them unique. And nobody cares about your life as much as you care about your life. I know you have a bunch of people who genuinely love you, but they're not going to go hard for you the way you are going to go hard for yourself. She's got a point. Which is why you have to make sure that you are spending time focusing on yourself. You are so important that you are the main character of a story. Your life, your rules. So why not live the best life possible. Why not make the rules in your favor to where one, you are the king and queen to your story and two, your story goes exactly the way you you actually want it to go, you know? Dude, if not you, then who? Is somebody else gonna come along and live your life for you? Probably not. And if they did, why would you wanna sit back and watch somebody else live your life? No, do what you wanna do. Go out there, wear the makeup, put the clothes on. Put the outfit on. Girl, what are you saving that outfit for? The world is waiting. We all deserve to see you be that main character that you are. We all deserve to see you live your life the way you want to live it. I deserve to see that at least. I want to see you guys shine. Do you, boo-boo. Do you, boo-boo. You know why? Because I'm a do me. Okay, so my brows are done and my lids are primed. And I'm not going for a major, major look. I just want to do something soft and subtle, but cute, you know? Does she have makeup on? I don't know, but she's really pretty. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. That look, that's the look I'm going for. I don't even think I like this. I don't want this. Oh, using the whole wrong color the entire time. Speaking of going hard for yourself, that's what she said. I was watching Will Smith speak on like a podcast or something. He was saying that no matter what, he always tries to give it like one more go. So you always have to keep a stash of one more go. And anything he does, one, as soon as he thought he, he thinks he reaches his max, he'll try to always just give it just one more go. We don't really know when we, what our max is when it comes to our levels of success. What's your maximum success? You can't really answer that because you don't know. That's why you deserve better because you don't even know what your max is. So your max has to be more than what you have now. You don't know. You don't know what the top is and imagine reaching that top. Oh. 
And that's it. It's over. This historic 2020 NBA. Nobody can determine your limit but you. And even when you feel like you've reached your limit, to give it one more go, one more try during practice, staying that one extra hour to understand something. All of that is just so important because it all goes back to you being the main character in your story. It riles me up to talk about this kind of stuff because I'm just so passionate about seeing people do their best and seeing people go beyond their best. I was speaking to my friend Desiree the other day. She found a job that she thinks she likes, but she's not sure if she's actually capable of doing it. And I was just like, dude, if they gave you the job offer, then you're capable of doing it. I know that's right. Just assume that you're gonna kill it. And then when you don't kill it, it's like, oh, well, no big deal. I tried and it is what it is. But I say that to say without you jumping into that pool of freezing cold water, without you jumping out that metaphorical airplane, you just won't know what your limit is. If the limit never approaches anything, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. The world is your oyster. And I know that might sound like a cliche, but it really is. There's not a lot of people in the world who can tell you no and genuinely just have the capability of shutting down your entire dreams, your entire everything. You don't know your max, so how can somebody else tell you your max? Nobody knows you better than you do. Please comment down below and let me know when was the last time you tried something for the first time or tried something that you didn't think that you could do. For me, that was this past week, I was skating and I ended up hitting a one toe spin. It, it came out of nowhere. Like I, my very first try, I was like, yeah, you know what, try it. Tried it, killed it the very first time. And I was so surprised. Always been so scared to spin on one foot. And I love skating, but I just never thought that I would get that far, you know? And then I said, you know what, screw it. Let me just try it one good time. And if it doesn't work, then I won't do it again because it was, it, it's kind of embarrassing when you can't do something that you want to be able to do. Lo and behold, I fucking did it. And I did a great job at it. And now I want to keep doing them. And I'm going to keep doing them because I like it. That wow feeling like the euphoria of blowing yourself away saying, wow, I did that. Oh my God. Wow. I said I was going to do it. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it, but I did it. Did it. We did it, Joe back and think back of all those times when you thought that you couldn't do something or you thought that something wasn't going to work out in your favor and it ended up working out in your favor and you're just like the hell <laughs> how did that happen you deserve to have those wow holy moly i can't believe i did this type of moment holy double vented comfort batman so i don't want like a harsh line but i have to wing my eyes out in some way shape or form or it just doesn't look right so i like to do a wing with a um eyeshadow i always forget about mascara forget about mascara until like i run out and i'm like ah that's kind of important i need that whatever the show must go on lashes i need that uh, this whole video would have been done <laughs> had i not had lash glue or some lashes mm -mm. i will buy lashes any and everywhere if they look good and they're affordable i'm probably gonna grab me some lashes Especially on days when you don't have any mascara, you just pop on some thicker lashes and nobody will ever know. They're gonna know. If you are watching this video, you are one of those people who gives and gives and gives. You should not be filling somebody else's cup until yours is filled. I'm not saying that you can't give somebody your last dollar or your last bite of your sandwich. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is Fill yourself with the substance and the energy that you need to focus on yourself before you fill it up with somebody else. If you keep getting into situations where you feel like you're continuously giving, you're not seeing anything back, or you don't have time to take care of yourself, or you don't have time to yourself, then you need to turn selfish. You helping yourself helps other people so much more. They think it's self-centered or they think it's narcissistic when you are focusing on yourself and you are not giving them 100% of your time and your energy. But at the end of the day, it's honestly the opposite of being self-centered or being narcissistic to take care of yourself in the way that you deserve and then allow your overflow to reach everybody else. I can't be of service to you when I haven't ate today. I can't think a way to help you solve your solution if I didn't sleep last night. The days of like, 
oh, I only get five hours of sleep because I'm so successful are so dead. The successful people are sleeping. Take care of your body. You only get one. Take care of that body. Take care of that soul. You deserve it. Did I lie? I just want each and every one of you to go out there, live your best life, and just do you. Put those balls put them to the wall. Whatever you want, whatever your dream, whatever your goal is, trust me, that thing is waiting on you just as much as you are waiting for it to happen. Who's got this? You got this. Who's out here cracking up? You. Is there anybody else like you? No. It's up to you to decide whether you're just sit and just rest on your laurels and hope that it's gonna come to you or whether you're just gonna get your ass up and go out there and get it because it's for you. If I told you your ideal life was literally three blocks away, how long would it take you to drive those three blocks and go get it? You probably go get it right now. So just treat every goal, every desire that you have as if it's right next door and understand that it's for you. It's waiting on you. You deserve it. So go get it. Let your mind go as far as you want it to go. Don't let people stop you or don't let yourself, not even people, because a lot of times people don't hinder us from getting the things we want. It's honestly ourselves and we blame it on other people. Dream as big as you want and then work backwards. At least you're not lowballing yourself. I know you guys are probably like, what's up with the edges, Brianna? What is going on? I know I'm going to get it. I'm going to fix my edges. I just want to see everybody shine. And I want to see you accomplish things that you never accomplished. You never thought that you could because many young children out there who also are looking for people like you to shine. So that way they have an example. You see all these people out here saying like, oh, I made $1,000 in a day. I made, <laughs> oh, I made $5,000 in two hours type of thing. And it's like, it can get to be overwhelming to where you feel as though you're so average and you're so basic and you don't feel like you deserve more or better than what you have. And I'm here to just tell you, yes, you do. I actually think I have enough bronzer on my brush. I fully bronze my entire face. Ever since I started using Fenty Beauty, I haven't been having to set my face as much, but I'm going to set it today. But back to our conversation. Ultimately, you deserve better because you've never had better. And so if that in itself is a reason, I deserve it because I ain't never had it. And you are on this earth to literally explore and do whatever you need to do to figure out who you are and figure out your purpose. Leveling up is not a crime. It doesn't hurt to level up. Why not? Genuinely, when you think about something, if you just ask yourself, why not? You probably won't have that many excuses. Why not go out there and be the best you that you can be? Why not give your goals that extra step that you deserve? Try to figure out what your max is and then take an extra step. Why not be the main character in your life and your story? Don't play the supporting role in your own life. Oh gosh, no. I mean, get into your bag, sis. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Start that business. I'll support it. Hit me up, girl. I will let you know. I am here for it. I am here to support it. I have to fix my hair, put on my outfit, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my final look, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for my pants. So, yeah. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and took something of value. If you have, please leave me a comment down below and hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me as well. Thank you all so much for hanging out, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.